most of the disciples of Jesus were fishermen by profession. Of course, when I say fishermen, fishing is their way of living. You know what I mean? Now, when Jesus called them to be fishers of men, that is, to be his disciples, they stopped from fishing and followed Jesus for three years. You know, they quit from fishing and followed Jesus. Now, when Jesus died, when they lost their master, what happened was some of them went back to face to, to their old ways of living. They went back to fishing again. However, after several years of not getting used to their expertise before, the gospel says they caught nothing. They set out in a boat, but throughout the night, they caught nothing, nothing as in nothing. They tried so hard, in fact, the gospel says, from night until daybreak, nothing. Perhaps they did their best. They tried all the tricks in fishing. They tried everything, but still they caught nothing. Friends, my dear brothers and sisters, I'm sure we can relate with the life of these disciples. I'm sure there are moments in our life that we are like these disciples in the gospel story for today. We tried everything, but nothing happened. We tried our best, but our best is like not enough. We tried, but we failed. We disposed all our resources to combat this virus, to stop the spread of COVID-19, but it seems no positive result. You know, we tried our absolute best and still nothing being good enough. We did the best we could and it is still wasn't good enough. Just like in a relationship, perhaps. You tried all your means to restore the broken relationship before, but nothing happened. Maybe if you are a father or if you are a mother, you try to educate and train your children, but they're getting up worse and you're fed up. You know, you try to change your life for better, but you ended up doing the same thing again, the thing that you hated most. You promised to yourself that you stopped doing it, but ended up a slave that you can't refuse. You know, you tried to be the best person, but still others misinterpreted your ways. You did the best you could, and it is still wasn't good enough. Today, let us learn from our gospel. If you felt like you're frustrated, you're discouraged because you caught nothing, Friends, brothers, and sisters, listen to the words of Jesus. It's very beautiful. And he said, and I quote, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. End of the quote. What the gospel is trying to tell us is this. It's very clear. The Lord is telling us, try again. Try something new. That is, convince yourself that you have no limit. In the layman's term, the Lord is trying to tell us, never give up. Never give up. Don't raise your hands and say, it's done. It's over. No. The moment you give up, the moment you put period, that's fatal. That's dangerous. But today, the Lord is telling me and you, try something new. Never give up. Three points that I would like to share with you guys. First, you know, when some things in our life does not work well, friends, never surrender. I say it again. Never surrender. Try something new. Adopt new methods. Look for new ways. Because I believe life has two rules. Rule number one, never give up. Eh? That's rule number one, never give up. And rule number two, always go back to rule number one. Friends, success is a journey, not a destination. 
When something in our life doesn't work well, never surrender, but rather try something new. Second, when we are disappointed, when we are discouraged, never be tempted to go back to our old ways. Like from fishing to fishing in the case of the disciples. Try something new. The Lord wants us to grow, learn new ways, start something new and fresh because life is great. Life is amazing amidst of failures. Do not be accustomed to put your net on the right side only. Try the other side also, you know. And finally, when we are disappointed, when we are discouraged, listen to Jesus. Because when we listen to him, we will no longer drag our nets of problems and frustrations, but rather we will carry and enjoy a life filled with overflowing blessings. Friends, brothers and sisters, when we listen to Jesus, he will turn our nothingness to something new. When we listen to Jesus, our sorrow will be turned into joy. From frustration, you will find yourself celebrating in joy. Friends, brothers and sisters, listen to him. When you are disappointed, when you are discouraged, don't resort to drugs. Don't go back to alcohol, to sex, to gambling, to shopping perhaps, or to sleeping. Try something new. And that is, listen to him. Cast your net to the other side of the boat. Because when you listen to him, you will drag abundant rewards and blessings from the Lord. Your disappointments will be gone. Your sorrow will be gone. And he will replace it with overwhelming joy. I believe, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, to conclude, you know, blessing comes not because our net is new. Blessing comes not because we are great, not because we are awesome, not because we are fantastic. Blessing comes not because our boat is wonderful, it's brand new. Blessing comes not because the lake is filled with fish. But I believe blessing comes when we learn to obey the Lord. Listen to the Lord. Listen to Him. Never give up. Don't surrender. Try something new. And the Lord is telling me and you, cast your net to the other side of the boat. In Jesus' name, Amen.